a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Vampire Video Game Vampire is an action role-playing video game developed by Don't Know Entertainment and published by Focus Home Interactive. It was released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on 5 June 2018. The plot relates how Jonathan Reed, a doctor who has turned into a vampire, comes to terms with his undead condition as he is torn between the Hippocratic Oath and his newfound bloodthirsty nature. Although some boss battles are mandatory, most combat can be avoided, and the player is under no obligation to kill non-player characters. To finish the game, dialogue options can be used for hunting prey to feed on, which replenishes strength and levels up the lead character. Weapons and supernatural abilities are employed while combating enemies. London serves as a fictionalized semi-open world composed of four districts, which can all be destroyed based on the player's actions. Taking place in London during the 1918 Spanish flu, the developer researched the setting by traveling to London and consulting history books and documentaries. The visuals were made with fictional and factual reference points in mind. Olivier Derivier composed the original score and infused it with industrial music, featuring cello, bass flute, piano, double bass, cymbalom, and choir sounds. The game was met with mixed reviews from critics, who praised the primary game mechanic, setting, character development, and voice acting, but criticized the combat, overall narrative, technical problems, aspects of the choice-based system, and animations. Gameplay Vampire is an action role-playing game played in a third-person perspective. The player controls the game's protagonist Jonathan E. Reed, a doctor who was made into a vampire, and whose thirst for blood compels him to kill innocent people. To do this successfully, he must gather information about his targets, study and change their habits, collect clues, and maintain certain relationships by communicating with the 60 inhabitants of London, which serves as a fictionalized semi-open world built around hubs of seamless neighborhoods tethered to other interlinking areas. It is possible to finish the game without taking a life, which best preserves the character's cover as a doctor, but leaves him nearly incapable of leveling up. Killing no one unlocks one of four different endings. A skill tree facilitates the improvement of abilities, which is fueled by experience points gained from blood and, alternatively, investigation. Abilities can be manually activated and passively upgraded. Active skills afford read defensive, aggressive, healing, and tactical measures. Passive skills increase his health, stamina, blood gauge and absorption, bite damage and regeneration, and carry capacity. If one so chooses, Anyone in the game could be targeted, which has consequences that affect the citizens of London. Reed can turn people into vampires and is only able to enter a house with an invitation. Locals each have their different backgrounds, relationships and daily routines. If killed, they impart their last thought to Reed. The mesmerize ability can determine the behavior of weaker targets like coercing them into revealing important information or guiding them to less conspicuous areas so as to feed without resorting to combat. Feeding on human blood provides nourishment in addition to unlocking new vampiric powers. With crafted medicine, Reed can heal injured or sick victims, whom if eaten, yields more experience points in the process. The rate of their affliction can be viewed using Reed's vampire senses, which also detect blood. Each of the four districts has a score based on the average health of its citizens. Reed navigates London using a waypoint, with icons leading to a given destination. He may come across collectible documents scattered around the city, which serve to detail the world. Reed can wield improvised melee weapons, such as a saw, as well as ranged weapons including the Webley revolver. Being able to use three hit combos, dodge rolls, and parrying, he can fight against other vampires like him aristocrats who go by the name of Econ, sewer-dwelling vampires known as Skulls. The Vulcid, a stronger breed of vampire resembling werewolves. Nemrod, vampires who hunt their own kind, and the Guard of Prywin, a secret society of vampire slayers. Boss fights are featured, and in some cases mandatory. Reed is adaptable to other vampire features, like the claws of a Vulcid. Weapon improvement through crafting is made possible by looting items from the bodies of victims. While using vampiric powers in combat, the character's blood bile drains. This forces him to feed so he can immediately replenish his strength. 
With the vitality attained from killing a human being, he can boil the blood of his enemies, cast blood spears, throw mist bombs, and turn invisible. Reed uses his control of shadows to hide himself and strike at his opponents. He can use spring to scale locations otherwise out of reach and charge more rapidly across gaps, which is also useful for avoiding combat altogether. Once upgraded, it can do damage on impact and grant temporary invincibility. Plot In 1918, Jonathan Reed, a doctor known for his work on blood transfusions and a former combat medic, travels to London to visit his ill mother. One night, he is attacked and bitten by a vampire, and wakes up to find himself in a mass grave. While trying to escape, he runs into his sister Mary, and, giving into his thirst, bites her and drinks her blood. Horrified, he vows to find and exact revenge on his maker, which brings him into conflict with both the Guard of Prywin, a society of vampire hunters, and the ancient vampire clans that seek to use the pandemic ravaging the city as an opportunity to increase their power and influence. Before the confrontation with Harriet, the entity appears again and it's revealed that Jonathan was sired not by a vampire, but by an entity known as Merthen, in order to fight his mother Morrigan, known as the Red Queen, who is the source of the Skell epidemic on London. The progenitor of vampire kind, she corrupts the vampires with the blood of hate into bloodthirsty monsters that periodically awakens from her deep slumber to lay waste upon mankind in regular periods. After killing Harriet Jones, the Red Queen's avatar emerges from her body, and attacks Jonathan. Defeated, she agrees to go back to slumber, but not before warning she will return. The endings then play based on whether or not Jonathan killed any people, how many of London's citizens survived and what decisions he took. If he managed to go through the entire game with killing only a few or no civilians, he convinces Elizabeth to not throw herself into the fire and the two can either travel the world together or live in their castle so he can work on finding a cure for vampirism. If Jonathan causes London to fall into chaos, Jonathan tells Elizabeth that he loves her, but she is unable to live with him having embraced his darker instincts, and subsequently kills herself. He grieves for her death and either falls into despair or becomes a monster with no sympathy for humanity that kills indiscriminately. Development Development of Vampire began with a team of 60 people, later expanded to around 80 many of whom worked on Don't Know Entertainment's previous project Life is Strange. For a short time, the developer considered to set the game in 1950s America, but after narrative director Stefan Bover to join the project, it was discarded to inspire a more gothic mood with focus on the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic, set in London. The paintings of Phil Hale influenced the art style, also, for the purpose of atmosphere. Anthony Howell was hired for the voice of Jonathan Reed, don't know conducted field research on the setting by visiting London and taking photographs, but since the city had been largely rebuilt, history books and documentaries concerning Whitechapel, the London Docks, and the Isle of Dogs were also consulted. Literary sources included Liquid History, The Thames Through Time, and the book of facial expressions, Babies to Teens, while the television series Casualty 1900s and The Nick were turned to for medical information. The characters and dialogue were scripted by two French writers and translated into English by two native speakers. Though the marketing department requested that characters have additional accents, Dontno decided on British. Events surrounding the period were studied using both factual and fictional reference points to create the visuals, realized with photorealistic lighting, and post processes running on the Unreal Engine 4. Motion capture was used to track character movement. In August 2016, the major obstacles in developing the game on Xbox One had been overcome, with the assurance that there would be no downgrades despite its hardware disadvantages. The game has only one safe slot, a decision don't know made, for in-game choices to have real, meaningful impact. To avoid corrupted saves, they implemented backup systems. Adhering to either Reed's Hippocratic Oath or Vampiric Nature intends to explore the dualism of his survival as both a doctor and vampire. Olivier Derivier served as the composer for years of development, infusing the score with industrial music to portray the solitude and inner struggle of the main character. Eric Maria Couturier played the cello, whose sounds were intended to go from emotional to bestial. The bass flute, piano, double bass, and cymbalom were also employed 
each characterizing an aspect of the story. Derivier saw the choir as representing an oppressive influence on the main character, and thought its combination with industrial music was effective given the amount of post-processing. The soundtrack was released on 3 May 2018 on Bandcamp, and launched on all digital platforms the day the game came out. Vampire was released to manufacturing in May 2018. Release After a technical issue delayed it from its original November 2017 launch date, Vampire was rescheduled to be released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One in Q1 or Q2 2018. A four-episode making of video series was released in January 2018. The fourth episode in the series revealed that Vampire would be released on 5 June 2018. Those who pre-ordered the game gained access to bonus downloadable content called The Hunter's Heirlooms, which contained exclusive in-game cosmetics. If pre-ordered through select retailers in Europe and Australia, a phonograph record of the soundtrack was included. In May 2018, Dontno confirmed that Vampire would not be using De Nuvo Anti-Tamper, a technology criticized for damaging computer performance. A launch trailer came out the following month, leading up to the release. Reception Vampire received mixed or average reviews, according to review aggregator Metacritic. Destructoid's Kevin Mercero enjoyed the dialogue conversations, atmosphere, and character development. Emma Schaefer of EGM declared the contrast between healing and killing to be the title's greatest strength, while also praising the character development for imbuing even the lowest beggar with some inherent worth. Matt Utley at Game Revolution enjoyed the atmosphere, each district's distinct look, and aspects of the combat. Writing for GameSpot, Justin Clark was impressed with the effect of decisions and how this tied into the core gameplay, calling it empowering. He also commended the enthralling characterizations, exquisite setting, and captivating voice acting. Games Radar plus S. Leon Hurley found the mechanic of testing morality interesting, calling the characters well realized and integral. Also subject to approval was the atmospheric Victorian London setting. Brandon Tyrrell, writing for IGN, termed Vampire a fresh and genuine take on vampire mythology. He was generally satisfied with how choices turned out and said the excellent recreation of London as a gloomy, somber city was bolstered by authentic characters, whose writing and performances he also enjoyed. Tyrrell welcomed the story for its grounded approach and favored the citizen system. Andy Kelly at PC Gamer appreciated the mechanic of maintaining the health of the districts, stating it was something I'd like to see more games do. He called the dialogue-driven storytelling, compelling, and the setting, atmospheric. Alice Bell of Videogamer.com wrote in her verdict, Vampire serves delicious ladles of angst and drama with a hearty slice of excellent, morally great choice system that will genuinely surprise you, all wrapped up in a wonderfully gloomy London. Conversely, Mercero scolded the overall narrative for its threadbare contribution. He called the combat a low-grade witch and knockoff complaining about its lack of precision and sloppy mechanics. Lengthy loading screens and constant freezing were also cited as a source of annoyance. Schaefer lambasted the animations for being a little wonky and the unpolished nature of the game. Utley wrote, Vampire is compelling on paper, but fails to live up to its aspirations, especially in character development and the impact of choice. He also had technical problems, including low resolution, choppy, performance, and lengthy loading times. Already frustrated with the combat, Clark said frame rate drops and frequent loading screens worsened the experience. He found that the narrative became weaker in the final chapters. Hurley viewed the combat as functional at best, solid if uninventive, and chastised how small decisions would lead to big mistakes, which he felt forfeited responsibility for your actions. Observing an inconsistency in the quality of animations between the lead and others, Tyrrell cited lip-syncing as a primary concern. He criticized the lack of variety in combat and experienced the same technical difficulties as Mercero, Utley, and Clark, albeit noting that they amounted to minor annoyances. Kelly disliked the dull, repetitive, combat sequences and, despite the decent variety of ways to fight, saw this ultimately as a tiresome distraction. The last of Bell's verdict said, 
It's just a shame the combat turns a bit sour. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like